Here let us see a solution of this question from the topic the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression. Here question is the ratio between the sum of n terms of two APs is 7n plus 1 is to 4n plus 27 find ratio of their 11 terms. So here we are having two APs ok. So let us write first term of these two APs will be A and A dash and common difference will be D and D dash. So let us write here let A and D be the first term and common difference of first AP respectively ok and uh, A dash and D dash be the first term and common difference of second AP respectively. Correct? Ok. And what is given here? Sum of n terms the ratio is given. So, sum of n terms suppose this is Sn and sum of n terms of second AP suppose S dash n. Ok. This is equal to given here 7 n plus 1 upon 4 n plus 27. S is the sum of n terms of first AP, S dash is the sum of second terms of the second AP. Okay. This is given and what we have to find out? We have to find the ratio of their 11 terms. So, we have to find out ratio of 11 terms. So, it means we have to find T 11 by T dash 11 where T is the 11th term of first AP and T dash is the 11th term of second AP and by the formula by the formula T n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D by this formula we can write this is equal to T 11 is A plus 11 minus 1 means 10 D and A dash plus 10 D dash where A and D are first term and common difference of first AP A dash and D dash are first term and common difference of second AP. So, we have to find out this ratio. Okay, and uh, here we will proceed with this given values. So, by formula S n is equal to how much? You know the formula S n is equal to n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 into d. So, by using this formula S n can be written as or n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 into d and here also n by 2 2 a dash plus n minus 1 into d dash n by 2 will be cancel out. This is equal to this much already given this is 7 n plus 1 by 4 n plus 27 or we have got here 2 a plus n minus 1 into d by 2 a dash plus n minus 1 into d dash is equal to 7 n plus 1 divided by 4 n plus 27 ok. Suppose this is relation number 1 ok. You see what we have to bring here we have to bring a plus 10 d that we can get from this expression. How? If in place of n minus 1 we keep 20 and you take 2 common from here. So, if 2 will be common here is 20. So, after taking 2 common we will get a plus 10 d. So, if you put n is equal to 21 n is equal to 21 this will be 21 minus 1 is 20 d. 
So, we can put here n is equal to 21 in relation number 1. Okay. This is the trick here. So, putting n is equal to 21 in relation number 1. What we get? We get here 2a plus here putting 21. So, 21 minus 1 is 20, 20 d. Similarly, in denominator 2 a dash plus 20 d and we can put n is equal to 21 in the right, right hand side also. So, here 7 into 21 plus 1 divided by 4 into 21 plus 27 correct. Now, let us take 2 common in numerator as well as denominator. So, we can write here 2 a plus 10 d upon 2 common a dash plus 10 d dash is equal to here 2 will be cancelled out. Here this side 148 divided by 111, 111 correct and this is equal to this is 148 can be written as 37 into 4 and 111 is 37 into 3 correct. So, 37 will be cancelled out we are getting the answer 4 by 3. So, a plus 10 d is how much? This is 11th term. Therefore, 11th term of first AP upon 11th term of second AP t dash 11 is equal to 4 is to 3. This is the answer. So, hope you got the solution. Very simple. A little bit trick, very small trick is here that we have to put here n is equal to 21 for getting a plus 10 d upon a dash plus 10 d and after putting n is equal to 21 and simplifying it, we are getting this result, this ratio very easily. Okay, thank you. Okay, wish you all the best.